Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Brave Kids Art Club. My name is Brad and today we're gonna be drawing something that we've never drawn before. Today we're gonna be drawing a human. Well, at least half a human. <laughs> today we're actually going to be drawing a mermaid. And as fun as mermaids are to draw, they're even more fun to color. So let's make sure we have everything we need to get started and let's go. Okay, make sure you have a piece of paper handy. You also need a sharpened pencil. We're gonna do some sketching, of course. And after we get our sketch finalized, we're gonna go through and outline everything with a dark marker or a pen. And then uh, make sure you have an eraser because you're gonna need to erase all of that sketch from underneath the pen. And there's a good chance we're gonna make some mistakes and that's okay. <laughs> and then at the very, very end, like I mentioned, my favorite part, we're gonna be doing some coloring and you're gonna be able to go crazy with the colors because mermaids come in all colors. So. Let's go ahead and get started on our sketch. Okay, so my idea for this mermaid drawing is to have her sitting on a rock in the ocean. We'll have her have long flowy hair and uh, we'll make sure we can see the tail there because that's the most important part to draw to make sure you know that it's a mermaid and uh, that's arguably the f most fun part to color in too. Maybe the hair, but we'll see. <laughs> All right, so let's start with uh, making sure we get some basic shapes in here, kind of gestures to see uh, how everything can fit on here. So. I'm gonna start by adding maybe that rock in here. Maybe some, uh, let's do this. We'll kind of add like a little rock shape right here. So just kind of make a little rock. It doesn't matter what it looks like. We're just sketching right now. And this one doesn't have to be any sort of geometric shape, just any kind of rock you want right there. All right, so it doesn't really matter. We just kind of want it, don't go over half the page. Maybe keep it under there and then we'll mess around with that some more. But now we have something for her to sit on. So let's start with uh, maybe putting her, let's see where the top is next, so we can see where her head is. And I think her head should be right about up here. So let's do something like this. I'm gonna draw a little, a little oval on its side right here for her head. Like that. And then we're going to Make sure we, let's see if the, the pose of her body. So sometimes I kind of start with a stick figure type of thing. So this way I can kind of tell where her body's gonna go, what, what uh, how she's gonna be leaning on it. So maybe I'd draw a line to kind of show that. And maybe I'd show another line to see where her shoulders might be. That might be a good way to do this. Cause I kind of want to have her leaning. I think it'd be nice if she was leaning uh, with one arm down on the, on the rock. So maybe I'll put a, Maybe I'll put uh, an arm down on the rock like that. Okay, I think that'll look pretty nice. And then we'll have our other hand waving. So like I said, I like to start off with kind of a stick figure and then I build around it. It's the same idea of like, we just wanna build the skeleton of something so we kinda know where to put everything and make sure it all fits. So this way I can kinda see, okay, that's where her arms are gonna go. They're, that's the position that she's gonna be in. Uh, maybe we show a little bit of her torso, which is the top half of your body. We'll do a little bit of the torso, kind of like this. So draw a couple lines right there. And that'll give us an idea of where, where that part is on her body. And then we can go ahead and add the fish tail, which is the other half of the mermaid. So the word mermaid actually is Old English. In the first half, mer means sea, and maid means woman. So sea woman is what a mermaid is. And so let's go ahead and make sure that, that we got the sea part, which is that uh, the big tail right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna have this part right here. We're gonna draw kind of like a big curve right here. So where her legs would be, we're gonna draw, obviously, her tail. Down like that. And then we'll draw kind of her hip right here on the bottom. And then we'll kind of come back around here. And we'll go all the way down to maybe about there. Awesome, okay. And then let's go ahead and start making sure that her, the rest of her body makes sense here. Okay, so we gotta connect her, her head here. Maybe it goes a little bit, a little bit lower here. We can move, we can always move things. That's why we're sketching. 
So we'll kind of add the, the neck right here with a couple lines to connect it to the body. But since we're drawing a female, we're gonna wanna soften up the edges. We don't want those sharp edges. So I'm just gonna kind of round off that edge right there. And then I'm gonna go and let's show that line, but let's go on the other side. We'll kind of go tapered in. So we wanna make it smaller to get bigger. Like this. Really close to the same size there. And we'll bring this arm in like this. There we go. And that probably means we need to bring this out a little bit more to connect it. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So this time we're gonna round it off, right? We, wanna, we don't wanna keep those sharp edges. Round it off. Do you see why we tilted it? It's because if she's leaning back, that means her other arm's gonna go up. So because she's leaning back, this other arm's gonna go forward. So that's the reason why we did it like that. And then we'll go ahead and taper it again. Like I said, we're gonna get smaller towards the, the wrist. And if that's starting to get too long, then that means we need to make sure that the rock goes up a little bit higher. So I'm gonna have this rock go out kind of like this. Like that maybe. And we can keep we can keep working on it. We'll make that rock bigger and bigger, <laughs> which means you could probably erase some of this stuff on the inside so it doesn't get in the way. But you'll see I just have to keep adjusting it as I go. All right, so let's go ahead and draw her top here. I'm noticing that her torso is already just a, maybe a little bit, a little bit too long, and we can fix that pretty easily. But I'm going to give her kind of a band top right here. A little band right there. So I think that torso, which uh, her stomach part's a little bit too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, her tail and kind of move that up. So that might mean some adjustments below, but that's okay. I'm going to have that go up a little bit. Maybe that means we bring this in. Sometimes it just doesn't look right. <laughs> And you have to look at it. And this is why I do this whole step of sketching because I want to make sure that it all it all works out nicely before I get to my my pen where I can't erase it or I go straight to my colors and I can't and I can't go back. So this will help me kind of get to that point quicker and more accurately. Okay, so now that we have uh, the the band there, let's kind of add the uh, maybe this little things like this to kind of connect the body to the tail. Do this little shape right there. Almost like two teardrops that we're gonna kind of put side by side. There we are. And maybe we'll give her a belly button. <laughs> I think mermaids still have their, their belly buttons. And then we're gonna go ahead now and start working on the hair. I think the hair is the next, the next part we need to tackle. So let's do Let's do that really big, beautiful, long hair because I think that would be fun to color in here. So maybe we'll kind of give her a part over here and let's maybe give her her bangs first, huh? We'll give her her bangs in the front. There we go. And then we'll go up the top and we'll kind of build your hair on top of the, the main part of the head that you do, thinking if you have your hair, you kind of push down your hair, then you feel your head, right? So your hair is on top of it. So that's why I'm gonna add a little bit more to the top of this, just because the hair is gonna be higher than just the, the head itself there that we drew underneath. So in that case, I'm just gonna go give her her hair and then I'm gonna kind of just have fun with it and just get all flowy. Ooh. There, just give some, some wavy lines. And I'll do the same thing over here. I'll kind of, I'll get her hair to kind of come off the side I'll have it go in and then I'll just go wavy again, like that. There we are. And maybe that will mean also that we do another one right here just to finish the part in her hair. I'm also gonna leave this part open right here. I'm thinking I might wanna put like a shell or a starfish or, or maybe even a flower up there in her hair. You can you can put whatever you'd want. So I'll, I'll probably do something like that in a bit, but I'm gonna 
I'm gonna look at this first and see what else I have left. Let's go ahead and make, maybe add her the end of her tail. Let's do all those parts now. Now the tail is kind of what we did when we did our whales. Um, they have that really cool tail and you can do them however you want. You can have them look more fish-like or more whale-like or I've seen ones that are huge, um, the little fins at the end of your at the end of your tail. So you do what you'd like to do. I think this is what what I want to do. I kind of want to do the whale looking one because I think it's just a cool shape. So it's kind of like an S shape. And we'll do it again on. Let's see. Like this. I want to make sure I have this nailed down before I draw the other one. And I'm going to do the same thing, just the opposite, right there. And then I'm going to go back and kind of go to the middle. Let's do it like that. There we go. Like that. Yeah, I really like that. I think that'll be fun. And then we can add more, more lines to that, you know, later if we want which could look pretty cool. Kind of like, kind of like that. Yeah, I think that'll be a lot of fun. All right, let's go ahead and draw her face now. So this is a mermaid. There actually are mermen, and uh, they're all together, if you're gonna call them, they don't just call them all mermaids, you call them merfolk. I thought that was pretty cool, because I say folks a lot <laughs> for just people in general, but if they're mermaids, then they're merfolk. So I thought that was interesting. I didn't know there was guys as well. All right, so for eyes, now we've always drawn just circles for eyes when we've drawn animals and other things. Today we're gonna do something slightly different because I kinda wanna give her more almond-shaped eyes or football-shaped eyes, I think we could call them. I like, the, I like how that looks more on, these, on, on this character that I'm drawing. So I'm gonna go like this and give her some nice big eyes like this, big friendly eyes. Can I go up a little bit? There we go. I'll draw another one just like it over here. Now, there's lots of different accounts of mermaids and not all of them have the mermaids being friendly. Sometimes the mermaids will trick sailors into coming into the water where they don't come back. So some stories, the mermaids are helpful and sometimes the mermaids aren't. There's lots of, these stories of mermaids have come, have come from all over the world and from thousands of years of stories. They've been around for a really long time, which is kind of neat. It's the same thing that we ran into with dragons. There's just ton, tons of different stories of the same type of creature and uh, I think that's pretty interesting to, to hear how that I wonder how that happens how those stories spread unless mermaids really are real who knows okay so we're gonna get a little nose there I drew the pupils uh, in the black part in the middle of her eye um, pretty big because you know I wanted her to be friendly like all of the things I draw um, but I'm also going to add some eyelashes right back here. Maybe she has some pretty eyelashes that we can add on there. And uh, we'll make her smiling. Let's make her... You know what? I want that smile probably to be a little bit higher. So I'm going to draw a little bit higher. There we go. So now we got to add her, her hand. Now hands can be tricky. Hands can really be tricky. So sometimes if you need to, you don't draw all the individual fingers. If you look at your hand, you'll see that these four fingers stick together and this one's kind of the outlier. It hangs out by itself. So draw this one separately from these ones and draw these ones as one piece and then you can separate them however you need to. Kind of like a mitten first. So if we're going to draw her hand sitting here on this rock, realize that, oh, and your thumbs, if you hold your hands out, your thumbs are on the inside. So don't want to draw her thumbs on the outside. You want them on the inside. So this is where her hand is. So we're going to put her, her thumb right there. But then if you need to, go ahead and draw just a square where her hands would be. Kind of like this. So you can kind of get an idea of where those hands are going to be. It's kind of a mitten shape. And then if you need to, then you can draw, so if you, if you need to use that, but then you can draw 
your hands or your fingers separately after that. Just draw them within that box that you already drew and it should look pretty good. Does that make sense? So we'll try it again over here. We'll have her waving, maybe waving hello because we are drawing a friendly mermaid. And so maybe we'll go like this. Kind of have her hand out like this and we'll give it, we'll kind of have it go off like squared off like a mitten. And then let's add the individual fingers. We'll go one, two, three, four. <laughs> Weren't my best fingers there. Maybe this one goes a little bit smaller. But drawing them within that can really help you out. There we go. So try it out, see if that helps you. All right, we're almost done with our sketch. I'm gonna kind of refine a few things as I go. Uh, maybe let's draw the, uh, what do we have left on her? Oh, oh, her little, uh, her little, I don't know what you call that, little bow or something that we'll put in her hair. I think I'm gonna do a starfish. So we'll kind of have this starfish go like that. And I'll make that look better. <laughs> oh, there we go. We'll draw a big starfish in her hair. And if you want to add lines in her hair, that's awesome too. Maybe I'll add another starfish over here. Ooh. Maybe we want to add little shells or snails or things like that on the, on the rock. You can definitely do that. I'm going to add some waves, just kind of like this at the bottom, so you can tell that she's in the water where she belongs. And then maybe we'll do some, uh, some patterns or something. You can do scales. Maybe it's just like the dragon ones or the fish ones we've drawn. You could draw scales like that. Maybe you just draw a few of them. That's kind of a trick I've used before. You don't have to draw all of them. Uh, I think I have something new I want to try. I think I'm just going to draw some, uh, some kind of crisscross pattern, kind of like this. I'm just going to draw lines all the way across here. Like this. And then I'm going to go and just draw them the opposite way. Like this. Kind of like a chain link fence. Yeah, I like how that looks. I think that'll be pretty fun. All right, so our sketch is looking pretty darn good. I think we're ready now to move on to the outlining stage of the drawing. Now, normally I do this with you, but we're running short on time in this episode, so y'all are going to have to do some outlining and coloring on your own today but no worries, you got this. Just make sure your sketches are cleaned up, erase all the parts you don't plan on outlining, and you should be good to go. So go ahead, get your pen out, get started, and we'll meet up right after. just about done here I might add a few more little little dots maybe those are barnacles maybe they're just little spots on the rock I don't know <laughs> but I think it needs a little something extra on that rock give it a little bit of a texture I don't think that could hurt at all but there awesome well that was so much fun the colors were a whole lot of fun I didn't pick them out beforehand like I typically do so it was look it was a little bit more of an experiment but it was a whole lot of fun and hopefully you guys had a fun time too. I know this one was a little bit more involved because drawing people is always just a little bit harder. There's just more parts, especially with your fingers and uh, it just is a, it's a little harder to get accurate. So I'll try and draw more people. That's my, uh, that's my goal. Uh, I'm going to draw more people in future videos, which will be a whole lot of fun. Um, but also, hopefully, this one was just a good time for you. And if you're proud of what you made, which you should be, you be proud of everything that you make, make sure that you go ahead and sign your name next to your artwork. So I'm going to put my initials there down below. 
and we'll call this illustration finished. All right, well, I truly appreciate you guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We do these classes Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So we'll have new things to draw every single week. And also, please just send in your ideas. You guys have been doing a fantastic job so far giving me ideas because I want to draw what you guys want to draw. So make sure you guys send those in. I hope you enjoyed this class. Before I let you go, remember, be brave, be creative, but most importantly, be you. All right, we'll see you guys next time.